Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are having one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is 7th root of x power 5 plus 20x cube equal to 5th root of x power 7 minus 20x cube. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by considering given equation equal to y. From here, I can frame two equations. One with this and another with this combination. So let me write here y equal to 7th root of x power 5 plus 20x cube. This is our first equality. And second, I will be writing here y equal to 5th root of x power 7 minus 20x cube. Now I will be considering whole power 7 here and whole power 5 here as we have 7th and 5th root on RHS. Now we can easily cancel 7th root with power 7, 5th root with power 5. Now the left equations are y power 7 equal to x power 5 plus 20x cube. Let me call this is my equation number 1 and second equation y power 5 equal to x power 7 minus 20x cube. Now I will be writing both the equations on one side of equality. Let me write here y power 7 minus x power 5 minus 20x cube. This is our equation number 1. And equation number 2, if I will write, it is x power 7 minus y power 5 minus 20x cube equal to 0. And if you will notice this new system of equation, then there will be y equal to x one solution. If I will plug in, I will get both equations identical and it will help us to find out further real solutions. Let's plug in both. So I will apply y equal to x. I will be writing x power 7 minus x power 5 minus 20 x cube equal to 0. In second equation, I will be having x power 7 minus y equal to x. So x power 5 minus 20x cube equal to 0. Both equations are identical. So let us solve one. I will write x power 7 minus x power 5 minus 20x cube equal to 0 x cube is common. So I will write x cube times x power 4 minus x square minus 20 equal to 0. So from here we can conclude two statements. First one from here x cube will be equal to 0. And from this quartic equation I will be writing x power 4 minus x square minus 20 this will be equal to 0. Let's solve 1 by 1. So I will be writing here x cube equal to 0. Conclusion is x is equal to 0 with multiplicity 3. Now if I will write our second equation it was quartic. So I will be writing here x power 4 minus x square minus 20 equal to 0. This is quadratic equation also in x square. So I can consider either substitution or either we can write a straight away quadratic formula for the value of x square. So minus b, so minus of minus 1 plus minus under the root of b square, so minus 1 square 
minus 4, A is 1, C is minus 20. Divided by 2A. So 2 times 1. So here we will have 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 80 divided by 2. So I can write 1 plus minus root 81 divided by 2. Now we know that root 81 is 9. So we can write x square equal to 1 plus minus 9 divided by 2. With plus sign it will become 10 over 2. With minus sign it will become minus 8 over 2. Which will give us 5 and negative 4. Now x square is negative. That means complex solution will be there. So I will write x square equal to 5 and minus 4. Now once a square is negative, it will generate complex solution. So this will be rejected on that ground. So which solution we will accept? It will be x square is equal to 5. Now I will take the square root both sides. So x will become plus minus square root 5. So there will be three solutions. Let me write here x is equal to 0 with multiplicity 3 and then plus minus root 5. Now let us verify the three solutions. Let me write here verification. First value x equal to 0. You can see equation is written here. Okay. If I will plug in x equal to 0. So 0 power 5, 0 plus 20 times 0 cube, 0. Right hand side will be fifth root of 0 power 7, 0 minus 20 times 0, 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. So what I will write? 0 equal to 0. Solution is verified. Come to the root 5 solution x equal to root 5 plus root 5 it is. Now left hand side if I will be writing here. So it is 7th root of x power 5. So root 5 power 5 plus 20 times root 5 q. This is LHS. RHS 5th root of root 5 power 7 minus 20 times root 5 cube. We can put in brackets. Okay. Now, 7th root of root 5 power 5. So, root 5 power 4 is 25. 5 times 5 and 1 extra root 5. So, 25 root 5. Now root 5 times root 5 times root 5. So I will be writing 5 root 5. So 20 times 5 is 100. This is done. Right hand side, fifth root of. This will give us root 5 power 6 times root 5. Root 5 power 6 is 125. So 125 root 5 minus same value 100 root 5. Okay, 7th root of, this is 100 root 5, 25 root 5, so 125 root 5 equal to 5th root of 125 minus 100, 25 root 5. Now I will write 7th root of, this is 5 cube, then after 5 power half. Right hand side, it is 5 is square, 5 power half. Now I can write 7th root. So better is to write 5 power 3 plus 1 by 2, 7 by 2. And whole power is 1 by 7. 
so using exponent law we can cancel these two here also i will write 5 power 2 plus half 5 by 2 and whole power is 1 over 5 so 5 5 will be over now you can see root 5 equal to root 5 verified now if i will consider x is equal to minus root 5 where it is going to change see this term will be minus this will be minus because powers are odd minus minus i will take minus outside so this calculation will be retained as it is everything will be as it is only both sides will get minus sign so at last we can conclude minus root 5 equal to minus root 5 this solution is also verified and this brings the end of this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye